Hey guys, so I've received a lot of questions asking what plugin I use for my colored nade tails. I also get a lot of requests for me to explain how to install it because it's not straightforward and you need source mod. So this video is going to explain two methods, the simple and the advanced, to installing the nade tail plugins that I use. Hope you enjoy! So the simple method is to use a website host that supports source mod, and the one that I personally use is dathost.net. That's because these guys charge per hour of use, up to a monthly limit depending on the player limit you specify. So when I'm practicing, I just have a five man server and it costs me like 12p an hour to run, with a maximum cap cost of like 350 if I leave it on all month. So it's crazy good. Also, they're currently giving out a 10% discount on their servers, which you can pick up by visiting this link, www.dathost.net slash r slash jamieW, and that link's in the description of this video too. So to set this up, you'd go to the control panel and click add game server, select CSGO, choose the server location, the size, and these details here. Then just hit show advanced settings and turn on source mod. Now all you have to do is add the actual plugin file. So to get to that, just visit the link in the description to alliedmods.net. Then click get plugin and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Now go back to dathost.net and drag the .smx file you just saved into the box that says drag drop plugins here. And finally click rent. And that's it, you're all done. You can now turn on the server by, click by clicking start, connect to the IP shown in the IP field, and you're all done and set up in only a few minutes. Now before I get into the advanced section, which is quite long, I wanted to mention I'm holding a giveaway to celebrate reaching 25,000 subscribers, which is a huge achievement for me and to coincide with when I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. The prize is going to be the winner's choice between an M4A1S Cyrex, an AK-47 Balkan, an AWP Asimov, a StatTrak M4A4 Dragon King, or a Mystery Knife. So you can enter the giveaway over the next two weeks by visiting the giveaway link in the description, and then it will close on the 21st of May at noon GMT. Basically, you get one entry per task, such as following on Twitter, retweeting the giveaway tweet, or following on Twitch, for a maximum of three entries. I'll announce the winner on stream on Wednesday the 21st of May at www.twitch.tv slash common drop and I look forward to seeing you all there. Now for the more advanced that want to run their own server, it's a bit more of a lengthy and detailed process and you'll have to manage the server as well in terms of updating it when CS is updated and the like. But to set it up, start off by visiting this link in the description for developer.valvesoftware.com and click the download and install Steam CMD link. It doesn't matter where you save this, but I like to keep everything together, so I put it in the folder where I'm gonna create my server. Now, the instructions on this page, they pretty much detail what you want to do to get a basic uh, CS server, but uh, I've also created a .bat file that will quickly set up the server for you, so just download the CSGO server setup.bat file from the description and uh, place it next to your Steam CMD.exe file. Then just double click CSGO server setup.bat to run it and it will create a server for you. And this will take a bit of time, so, I mean, go make yourself a cup of tea, maybe watch some stuff on Netflix, whatever you fancy doing. Once it's done, you're going to have a folder called CSGO Server, and when you go in there, you'll have a bunch of files and folders in an executable called srcds.exe. So this is basically the, fi the file you use to sort of run the server, but with this, there's another file that you can download from the link in the description to quickly start up this server, and that's called autorun.bat, and you can download that in the description of this video, so download it, put it next to srcds.exe, so in the same folder, then right click it and click open with, and then notepad or wordpad or, or some sort of text editor like that. Then grab your IP by visiting a website like ipchicken.com and paste it in where the current IP is at net underscore public underscore ADR space and then the IP. So next you'll want to make sure that you've, uh, oh first of all save that file and then next you'll want to make sure that you've port forwarded for your router. So this is really straightforward once you know how to do it, but it might take some time depending on like what router you have, um, if you've done it before, whatever. So you can find the instructions for how to do that at www.portforward.com. So I'm not going to go through it in this video, but again, it's pretty straightforward once you once you know what you're doing. Uh, you want to forward whatever port you set in auto run.bat. So usually that's 27015 for Counter Strike, and you want to do that for both TCP and UDP and then have it point to your computer on your local network and go through the port forward guides and that will all make sense to you. So now your server's set up and ready to play on a default server by connecting to your IP once you run that auto run .bat. But wait, we still need to get the plugin file. So the plugin requires source mod, which itself requires metamod. 
So first of all, we're going to grab Metamod by going to www.metamodsource.net and click the version from the green box based on your operating system, most likely Windows. Then click one of the blue links, whichever uh, it says the place is closest to you. So next, just go to your CSGO server folder that was set up um, from the Steam CMD.exe and then inside that, open the folder called CSGO. So now you want to extract the mmsource zip file that you just downloaded inside that CSGO folder like this. This will give you an add-ons folder which will have Metamod inside of it. So now you've got Metamod done, you need to get SourceMod and you can do this by going to www.sourcemod.net slash downloads.php and grab the full package for your operating system. So again, click the URL of the service closest to you and once it's downloaded, go to your CSGO folder, the same place you went to for the Metamod and extract this new uh, zip file. It's going to add some files to the add-ons folder and it's also going to add some to the CFG folder. So now you can finally put in the add-on having known you've, you've got Metamod and SourceMod installed. So just open the add-ons folder in your, CF, in your CSGO folder and then open the SourceMod folder and finally go to the plugins folder and in there copy and paste the natales.smx plugin that you downloaded from the allied mods link in the description and your server should be all ready and set up for you to practice on. Just connect to your own IP, the one you got from ipchicken.com and you'll be good to go. So if you encounter any problems with any of this, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them, but please try to research them yourself first. I followed all my own instructions while making this video and you can see that they work fine. Results may vary for other operating systems and I can only guarantee this on Windows, but it should work fine for both OS X and Linux as well. So you can see that setting up your own dedicated server isn't complicated, but it is tedious. And when CSGO gets updated, you'll need to update your own server as well before you can play on it again, which can take a bit of time. It's much easier to use a host, and I personally use that host. Here you can see they've done exactly what I talked about when I went through setting up your own server, but they've done it for you in a matter of seconds. So just as a final reminder, dathost.net are offering 10% off their services using the link in the description, and they handle all the server setup, updating, maintenance, everything, and make it super simple to get going with any source mod file. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and remember you can reach me in the comments below or on Twitter at jamieW underscore TV where you can ask me any questions or anything you like. And remember to visit the giveaway link in the description below to win your choice of an M4A1S Cyrex, an AK Vulcan, an Orp Asimov, a StatTrak M4A4 Dragon King or a Mystery Knife. It's free to enter, I'm going to be drawing the winner live on Twitch on May 21st in the evening GMT and then I'm going to be going on and playing some games, um, hopefully with, with some of you guys. Oh, if not, just with a few uh, uh, random players, and we'll see how the night goes from there. So, have a good one, guys, and good luck in the giveaway. Bye.